What's up, Club Kids? I'm Coach MJ. Today I'm talking to you about adductors and abductors. Probably muscle groups you haven't heard of before, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of info about it and teach you how you can train them at home while you're um, waiting out this quarantine so that you're ready to perform at your best when you get back out on the field or the court. All right, so your adductor is a muscle group that connects at the hip and then also at the knee on the outside of your body, and it's responsible for any time you move your leg away from your midline, so it helps you move outward. The abductor is a small muscle as well, but it's wide at its attachment, so it attaches in the front and the back of the hip region, and then it gets narrow as it comes to your knee. And the abductor is the muscle that is responsible for lifting your leg back to the center line. So any kind of juking or moving laterally, the adductors and the abductors are really important. Also, key muscle groups for anybody that's trying to balance um, in gymnastics, dance, or yoga. So these are um, good muscle groups to train and you can do it really quickly. Nice way to lean out the legs a little bit for summer and also help you perform when you get back onto the field. So we're starting lying on our sides. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked as well. I'm using my top hand in front of my body to support my torso here so that I'm not rolling. And then I'm gonna flex my foot and start making small movements upward. That's two, three. I'm just gonna do 10 or 15. Imagining that I'm moving through friction on the way up and on the way down helps me to engage the muscle and get the most out of every movement. I'm gonna count down from five, four, three, two, and one. For the second exercise, we're gonna draw a triangle with our foot. Point the toes this time, tap the toes in front of the body, lift directly above the bottom heel, and then tap behind the body before you lift again. So you can see where that triangle name comes from. We're drawing a triangle with our toe, having to lift up twice per round. So I'm just gonna do 10 here. That's four. Allow the hip to rotate. Feel that burn. It's okay to take a rest if you need to and then finish your 10. This is seven for me. Eight nine and ten all right that top leg worked hard now we're going to give it a rest bring it in front of your body shin can rest on the floor like this or the foot can come to the earth whatever feels right for you you have to shift your hips back a little bit but we want to free up that bottom leg so with a flexed ankle we're going to lift ten times again moving through friction that's three five eight, nine, and 10. Keep the foot flexed, small circles backwards, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, and 10. We're going small circles forwards now, ensuring that we hit that muscle at both of its attachment points. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten all right swing it around four exercises on each side set yourself up so that you feel stable your torso is doing a lot to keep you in this position so just kind of be mindful about this setup to begin with and then we're going to flex the foot you can bring the head low if that it helps sometimes it feels better on the neck but soft bend in the knee Flexed foot, I'm lifting for 10. Through the mud or the jello I go, keeping the muscles really strong and engaged here. Five, six. Everything stays stacked. Eight, nine, and 10. Now I point the toes, tap in front of the body, lift high, and then tap behind. This is definitely the hardest movement as the hips have to shift to make the tap in front and back, but we're trying to keep the torso nice and steady. That's four, 
six. Feel the burn. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Almost done. Top leg comes in front again. You can rest the shin on the floor. If that feels okay, I'll try it this way for you on this side. Flexing the foot, we're going to pulse upwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now the hardest part circles backwards. Four small circles. We want that full attachment worked. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And forwards with the circles. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So that's the whole set. Because these muscle groups work to stabilize and they work in conjunction with larger muscles, they don't need a ton of focus. Just a little bit of time helps. Um, so if you are working on keeping your body in shape and getting ready to get back on the field, I would suggest trying this training at home. It doesn't need um, any extra space or any extra equipment. So it's a good one for quarantine times. All right, you guys, I hope you're doing okay. I look forward to meeting you at the club again very soon. Take care.